Where better to get an old firm preview than at the Davy Cooper statue with two of his former teammates? And I'm dying to know if you're really looking forward to it because this is one of those eagerly anticipated games because quite simply, I think everybody thinks the two of them are really on a, an even keel. We've had a chat with Alan Thompson earlier in the week. Now we've got you two here by the David Cooper statue. Are you looking forward to it? Absolutely. Uh, as a fan, as a player, I absolutely love the fixture. Uh, gets all juices flowing. Peter, uh, just what you says there, there's nothing between the two sides. If you're looking for an advantage, obviously, Rangers at home, with the support, you, you might edge towards them, but uh, but they're going up against the champions, you know, and they want to prove that they're champions. So I just hope uh, a lot of the fans out there that we're going to get a brilliant spectacle. And obviously I'm hoping Rangers uh, edge the game, but uh, no, it's one to save, I want to look forward to. Uh, how, how do you call it? I don't know, have you got a coin? <laughs> Toss a coin, isn't it? It is. It's so tight. But the last time there was a real, I wouldn't say hysteria, but there was a real confidence earlier in the season at Ibrox where Celtic were depleted. There was a real chance for Rangers to put a marker down. They weren't able to do it. What's the difference this time with the manager and the team? Well, I think Rangers must start favourites because um, I think uh, the managers come in, uh, Philip, and he's he's transformed the whole attitude. I think they've now got a winning attitude. Before, I watched them the last game at Ibrox and they was capitulated you know, too early. Uh, didn't really have a game plan. But one of the things I understand about him through people uh, I know at Ibrox is that uh, he's a real leader. Every player that goes on the park knows their job and that's important. Um, but Derek will tell you in old firm games, you know, form you know, in current form, really goes out the window because it's the team on the day that, that gives 100%, that really wants it to win it, but also, you know, gets a wee bit of break of the ball occasionally because there's going to be key decisions in these, these games mm -hmm. uh, on the park. And if you if they go for you, then you've got a chance. So, you know, whilst you can you can give 100%, you're always at the behest of, of decisions on the park. Yeah, I love the way you're you're just teeing us up nice earlier <laughs> for a VAR decision, oh, aren't you? Honestly, that's I'm dreading think, it. I, and that's what I was thinking about there. I'm th See, when I start to think about VAR, oh, it, it does my nothing. <laughs> yeah. So it does, uh, I was at a game Saturday, it was the, the Rangers game, and it's about seven, eight minutes it took to, to, to pour over. It was a couple of decisions. I hope that's not the case. Yeah. I hope we just get a brilliant game. Uh, but you just get that feeling there's going to be a bit of controversy uh, somewhere. You said Rangers are slightly favourites. Is that's that, only because it, they're at home. Well, player. I was going to say to you, is this time around because there's a settled side, because he's got he knows near enough 10 out of the 11, could the crowd play a significant part this time around? The last time it didn't because Callum McGregor ended up bossing the game and killing the crowd. That's it, and I think they probably learned a wee bit from that game. Uh, it's how you. This is where the, the, the good players are able to handle the pressure, and the pressure comes from the demands of the home support. They'll expect Rangers to be on the front foot, to take the game to Celtic, uh, and that's where that pressure comes from. Celtic are proven in the past, you've just used it as an example. McGregor, he's been injured, they expect him maybe to play in this game. If he's fit, he will play. But I think that's where the learning curve is because that day McGregor was sensational. Uh, so you learn from your mistakes in the past, uh, try and rectify that. But I think the biggest thing is, for me, and I think a lot of the players should think about and the fans, I don't think Rangers should have even been in this position. Uh, and it's down to the manager. You know, they turn around in form and, and fortune and he's got a few players back as well. Seema's back, Ruff will be uh, back, Matondo. So, uh, but it's so close. Yeah. But, Is that a title decider? No, of course it's not. I think it's gone right to the, the last game of the season, to be honest with you. Motherwell proved that a number of weeks ago. They go to Ibrox 1-2-1. So there'll be a few bumps in the road for both sides. Yeah. If you're going to be Philip Clermont looking at the opposition, he's done his homework. The players know what to expect. Where do you think the, the key area for Rangers and tactics to, to stop Celtic doing what they did back at the start of the season? Well, I think it's midfield. I think for me, uh, John Lundstrom has been sensational this season. I know his contract's up, but I just I was actually thinking about it last night. What a great um, you know booster it would be for everyone if they announced that he had signed for another season. Um, you know, he's obviously um, you know been tempted to come back down to England, but you know, we respect to him. You're talking about probably 
you know, teams in the, 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 the lower half of the, the Premiership, you'd far better be up here winning stuff with Rangers. And I, I think if they can keep him, I think that's going to be a big thing. But also, I think, you know, his composure in midfield is going to be a key factor. OK, before you give me the prediction, let me just say to you that the two best goals I've seen in an Old Firm game, uh, thankfully... Was my header? Uh, was no, it, it wasn't your header. <laughs> 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 Are you going to chip uh, in with one? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. even scored against Celtic. No, so thank you. Listen, go well, the reason why <laughs> the reason why I'm saying it is because we're here uh, at uh, a totally restored Davy Cooper uh, statue, and I think it looks fantastic. So my point here is Coop's goal in the Driver Cup final, oh, um, which that. he just bumps over three of them, puts it on his chest, side foots no, no, it in. No. Four. Four of them. Was there four? Uh, there's four. It might even be a fifth. No, I'd gone, but then I'd <laughs> left. I, 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 I headed out for the uh, bus. I thought, uh, this is <laughs> mental. <laughs> no, Coop, uh, do you know the great thing about it? Sandy Jardin scored the belter. Yeah, uh, and and he thought he was going to be on the back pages <laughs> until Coop produced a bit of magic. And then, of course, the other one is Henrik Larsson. Because he not Mike's Conterman. His old pal Kloss is facing him and he... I can't he, remember that he chips and goes, No, I saw you leaving as well that time. <laughs> <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. See every day in training. Coop used to do that every day in that training. That was normal, wasn't it? Absolutely, because he had immense balance. He was always in control of the ball. He knew where he was. So, you know, he just took what he did on the, uh, the training pitch onto the pitch. But magnificent, magnificent. I don't think the camera work was the best. No. Uh, but it'd be great if somebody modern technology enhanced that and made it really up to date because uh, yeah. it was brilliant really I okay David you'll just slaughter the media <laughs> brilliant <laughs> so before we go you two you're by the statue of your old mate right. it's a big game it's not winner takes all according to him no, is it winner takes think. all according to you no I don't think so I no. think you're. I think there's a lot of more ups and downs to go because um, you know teams uh, when you get into the, the final games this season they're all fighting for something whether it's Europe, whether it's... We're in the split as well, absolutely. you know, it's coming up. Give yeah, us your prediction. Ooh. It's going to be very tight. Uh, I think Rangers, if they get the, the advantages... <laughs> what, <laughs> what, advantage, no, no, no. what advantages are you talking about, David? No. Rangers are 1-2-1. That's my, my forecast. No VAR decisions? Well, there's going to be VAR decisions, and it just depends how they go. Uh, but, you know, I, I think I want, to, I want to quash this conspiracy theory. I know... I'll, all the referees, I know they're the most honest people in the world. Um, I think it's the process, maybe, yeah. that they have to tighten up uh, in the communication process. But everybody does their job impeccably. There is absolutely no bias whatsoever. Thanks for that, Davy. And uh, Davy will obviously be on his own political show a lot later on. Uh, Derek, just gives a prediction instead of a long-winded one. 2-1. 2-1, Peter. 2-1 two, two two Rangers. 2-1 two, two Rangers. <laughs> Brilliant. You can give us your predictions in the comments section below, but... Of course, old firm games. games, they're so difficult. As, uh, What's your as, prediction, Peter? Well, as Jockstein said, only a fool would give a prediction in <laughs> an old firm game. Only a fool. So, Thanks to Davy and Derek for being here. And uh, don't forget, uh, put your comments in, in the section below on PLZ Soccer.